Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about season one, episode one of the new TV series called Let the Right One In. But first, let me give you a backstory of the novel. Let the Right One In is a 2004 vampire novel by Swedish writer John Lindquist. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. The story centers on the relationship between a 12 year old boy, Oscar, and a century old vampire child named Ella. It takes place in Blackbird, a working class suburb of Stockholm in the early 1980s. The book grapples with the dark side of humanity, includes such as issues of anxiety, social isolation, and school bullying. There are two films that are based on the novel. The first one is the 2008 Swedish version of the Let the Right One In, which I recently watched and it's really, I really enjoy this movie. And the second one is Let Me In, which is the 2013 English language adaption. The TV series Let the Right One In centers on a character named Mark and his daughter named Eleanor, whose lives were changed forever 10 years early when she was turned into a vampire. Locked in at the age of 12, perhaps forever, Eleanor lives a close-in life, able to go out only at night, while her father does his best to provide her with the human blood she needs to stay alive. So this episode starts off with Mark and his daughter moving back to their hometown, and basically Mark is on a mission to find out who turned his daughter into a vampire. But first, he get his old restaurant job back, which he used to own with his brother, aka I believe his best friend, but he just called him his brother. So basically Mark is trying to blend in with society, you know, blend in as a regular human being, just working during the day and going home at night. So his brother has reservations about why Mark and Eleanor came back because you know, Mark brother knows what happened to Eleanor. And that's the reason why he has reservations and he feels like what is the purpose of you coming back here and he just assumed that um that mark was trying to help his own daughter kill these people so he can provide food for eleanor which is blood so mark tries to explain to him how difficult it was for the past i believe he said 10 to 12 years trying to track down and getting his daughter hopes up regarding catching the killer who turned her to a vampire. So Mark hasn't told Eleanor why they came back home. You know, Eleanor don't know what's going on. Basically, he haven't told her, you know, the reason why. And he told her later on in the episode. So we also get the chance to get introduced to Naomi and her son Isaiah. They both meet their new neighbor, Mark. And their relationship you know it seemed like it's kind of kind of off a little bit and when i mean off i'm talking about you know her son isaiah you know he's kind of like nerdy he loves magician stuff he loves magic and naomi is like she's you know she don't want her son to be part of doing those type of activities or those hobbies which is um doing magic and so later on in the episode eleanor meets isaiah for the first time and isaiah shows her his magic trick and tries to get to know her and so isaiah's mom naomi is also a detective she discovered a mutilated body but it seems like this is not the first one there have been multiple killings lately there's another reason why mark came back home so let's talk about mr logan so mr logan was early on on the episode and basically he took his son outside or whatnot and have the sun see the sun rise and then all of a sudden he got burnt and so mr logan called his daughter claire because he wants to um speak with her you know regarding what's what really happened and mr logan doesn't have a good relationship with claire he wants her to continue what he started regarding his work and it seems that he's trying to find a cure for his son that is also a vampire and towards the end of the scene you can see Claire um, going into her brother's room and she was very shocked because Claire just thought that he died because he got um, mutilated by a bear which it wasn't true and so when she went into her brother's room um, that's when the camera kind of shifted um, off towards the brother to a picture looks like a school picture of these kids and one of those kids was Eleanor 
So I enjoyed the first episode. I like how we got the chance to see the first introduction of Eleanor and Isaiah. I really thought they was going to meet in episode three and four, but it just got right into it of them just meeting, having a little conversation and introducing themselves. And so it seems that Isaiah and his mom have a little complicated relationship. Um, you can tell that Naomi doesn't want her son to stick out of the crowd in school because she knows that her son would get bullied, but Isaiah's already getting bullied with unnerving text messages and people don't want to sit with him during lunch. And so he feels like the outsider. And so it seems like um, this season is going for a different approach, which is there is going to be more than one vampire in the city. And I think that would be, a, I think that's a good idea because it seems like it's going to be a lot of things that's going to be happening regarding um, finding the cure, but also who is distributing those pills to have these humans turn into vampires as well. So that's going to be a huge question mark. And I'm hoping that they will reveal that answer later on in the episode, but I hope it don't wait too, too late of why these humans are taking these pills for them to turn into vampires. And so I'm hoping that we get back to the story of how Eleanor turned into a vampire. I'm hoping that happened in the next episode three or episode four, they talk about that because we don't know why or how Eleanor turned into a vampire. We just know on the first episode that at the age of 12, she was turned into a vampire and that was it. Same thing with the movie because it seems like they're picking back off the Swedish film and in the Swedish film we didn't see anything regarding her and her father's backstory. So I know the first episode it had a little flashbacks here and there about, about Mark and also his wife and also the daughter and we don't know what happened to the wife as well so I'm very interested and very curious of that. So I enjoy it. I'm going to be continuing watching it. Also, the show is on Showtime, so make sure you check that out. I believe it's only 10 episodes and it's an hour long. And so that is all I have. I can't wait to watch episode two. Just want to say thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until then, see you later.